All right, we're starting to look at uh, sales coming in over the weekend to, that were sold on eBay. So let's get into it. All right, all right. We mostly talk about eBay and marketing your eBay business on this channel. So if that's kind of things you like to uh, watch on videos, then please make sure to go ahead and subscribe. I'm about 100 and some loose change away from the 1,000 subscriber mark. So having you as a subscriber, new sub subscriber would be greatly appreciated. And uh, we'll definitely give uh, give you a shout out when we can. All right, so what sold, couple of what solds anyway. Uh, for starting off, this t-shirt is a G gs brand and that stands for i forget uh grunt style i think grunt style and these shirts when they're brand new are uh, pretty expensive shirts like 20 25 dollar t-shirts uh pre-owned i had this one on the sale for a dollar 99 uh, plus shipping uh, and it's only been listed for about oh a couple days tops so that one sold pretty fast and then this one, I'm not sure what the brand on it is, but it's basically just for retro. It's talking about the old floppy CDs, the old VHS and uh, cassette tapes. Uh, so that one went out on the t-shirt sale at $1.99 plus shipping. Then we have the Santa Claus 3 movie going out at $0.99 cents, uh, plus shipping. And From Hell, which is a... Um, oh, I was thinking, yeah, it's a Johnny Depp. Jack the Ripper. It's a Jack the Ripper movie. So uh, again, 99 cents plus shipping on top. So we'll see what else rolls in for the weekend. All right, good morning. And it's Monday morning. We are headed in, if you can hear me over my noisy truck, I've got an exhaust issue. Uh, heading into the storage unit to pick some more orders. Very slow weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. Morning frogs. Uh, yeah, very slow weekend. I got four four more items to go pick up. Uh, I've got a tub full over here of inventory that I got listed Thursday, Friday, the end of last week. Well, most of it was Friday anyway. It's all got to be put away into the storage unit. That'll be my first time uh, doing it this way where I've actually got inventory. I got to go in and uh, put it into a box, specify the box. So that may take just a, a few minutes to get that done. This is going to be... Uh, you know, a test run for me with my new style of running my business throughout the day. So we got to do that, then we got to pull, and we'll show you what we, we sold. In the meantime, on the way in here, let's talk a little bit about uh, keywords. Something I've been getting schooled on with the training that I've been involved in and watching some different videos about the keyword format for your eBay titles. So with clothing, it kind of it works easier, I think, with clothing to the fact that you want your brand, you want what it is. So if it's a Nike sweatshirt, you put Nike sweatshirt, right? Then you can put gender, then you can put size, then you can put color. Those are your first five things that you want to make sure you cover in your title. Now, it can get a little bit tricky, I found out. Uh, with Coach Marcus that on the t-shirts, I don't want to put Gildan, Fruit of the Loom, uh, what's the other one, Delta maybe, uh, there's three or four of them that are kind of just, you know, it's a brand name, but it's not a brand name that's actually searched for. They're searching for uh, more of what the shirt or the pants or the item uh, is, and not that, not those brand names. <clears throat> They're looking for a Nike sweatshirt okay nike would be the brand of course obviously on most of these but you know for a t-shirt that like one that's in the video that i picked up was the uh, retro cassette vhs and the floppy disk t-shirt it's i think it says like don't don't forget or something like that on it but i would have had to change the title on that it did sell because of my price point uh somebody looked at it but I've got the, you know, whether it was a Gilded Fruit Loop, whatever, I've got that brand on there. And you can get more views by taking that type of brand out and putting in maybe the word like retro shirt, gaming shirt, computer shirt, something like that for those first couple of keywords. That's going to make a difference on uh, what, what, how many views you're going to get, how many uh, searches are going to pop that one up 
in the eBay algorithm. So after you do those five things, uh, brand, you know, your, your searched, searched brand, Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, uh, one and one, uh, I don't know, there's tons of them out there. So brand, what, and then put what it is. If it's a t-shirt, I don't put t-shirt anymore. You'll still, if you go to my store, jbnetmarketplace.com, um, you, you can look through and you can see I haven't been able to correct all of them. I got hundreds of, you know, clothing items on there. I am working on correcting them, <coughs> but, um, just put what it is. It's a Nike shirt and it is a large or a men's and it's a large and it's red and then add some things to it. Maybe basketball, sports, running, whatever <clears throat> for your miscellaneous keywords to fill up your characters on. Now, if you have trouble coming up with some of those keywords to fill out those characters, there's a lot of different sites out there. There's an eBay title tool site out there. Uh, there's uh, ChatGPT can help you out, AI. Uh, there's uh, on Vindu, if you happen to use Vindu or go searching for it, there is a page on their site that talks about trending keywords, trending hashtag words, which you can use for keywords. These are words that uh, a lot of people are using to search for items now. I will try to leave that link down below or tell you how to get to it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, there's just a lot of help out there for keywords that, you know, you may, you'll look at and say, oh, duh, why didn't I come up with that? I was looking for uh, blue jeans uh, a while last week sometime. I had some uh, uh, working style blue jeans, had the strap on it to put a hammer down in and all this good stuff. And the word carpenter uh, was that was eluding me. So carpenter jeans. Okay. So something like that. Uh, but yeah, work on your keywords, fix them, uh, put, put exactly what it is in the beginning, Nike shirt, even if it's a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a hoodie, put Nike shirt and then add on the keywords on the end, hoodie, uh, t you know, you can put T-T-E-E -E at the end, uh, basketball, football, whatever, whatever sport it's alluding to or one of the sports that it's alluding to, things like that, uh, to fill it in, but brand, what it is, exactly what it is. It's a shirt, it's a jacket, it's jeans. You don't need anything else there, just what it is. And then your uh, gender, if it's gender specific, and most items still are. And uh, yeah, after that is the uh, size, sorry. <laughs> and the color, if you wanna throw the color in there as a keyboard also. So there you go, there's our thoughts and processes. I'm not going to say it's a lesson. I'm not going to say it's a teaching moment. It's something that I've relearned. I thought I was pretty good at titles, but I've relearned how to do the title structure for eBay. All right, so hang on. We're almost to the storage unit, and we'll get the rest of these items pulled. All right, finishing up the orders for Monday morning coming out of the weekend. Got a Harley Davidson Adult XL uh, from Renton, Washington black short sleeve uh that one went out for man a dollar 59 plus shipping what a deal i think it's uh, this one right here and then we've got a six flags t-shirt adult large uh, tasmanian devil warner brothers uh orange color going out right here the tag the brand tag is six flags uh star wars backpack fighter TIE Fighter X-Wing and kind of set up the picture on there is set up like a Asteroids or oh, a Galaga game maybe. Um, but anyway, so that's your Star Wars backpack. I've had that for a little while, but it did go out. It took an offer at $7.99 plus ship. And then the other Harley Davidson uh, going out is the Rock uh, Star, Black Star of Rock, Ottawa, Illinois. Uh, so anyway, that's going out, and again, I, I typoed these. I had to have, instead of going $1.99, they went out $1.59 uh, plus shipping. So these have been sitting around for a while. I sold, I had like four or five, and the others sold at regular price. So, you know, just going ahead and moving some, moving some old inventory out again. And uh, here's a pile of shoes, golf shoes, that need to be listed. I've got a pile... Uh, let's see down here. We've got a basket that coat needs listed and I've got a bunch of stuff in the laundry right now We're getting ready to to run through the laundry. So yeah, I got plenty of stuff to list time to get busy 
We will talk to you soon. Thanks again for stopping in. Make sure to subscribe, them, give us a thumbs up to help that e eBay, help that YouTube algorithm out a little bit. And uh, if you need to know a little bit more about how we run our business, our newsletter link is down below in the description area. Talk to you soon. Happy selling.